Furman's defense, you said, the number one pass defense in the country, number 15 defense in the country in overall points. Uh, they're physical, they're tough, they get to the ball, I think they're well coached, and they gave us, you know, they gave us all we could handle. Tell me a little bit about, take me through that last play in overtime. Uh, Hobbs said you ran that a few times. Well, yeah, it was more, we just kind of, you know, they were ganged up a little bit inside, so we kind of fake inside, then we start to attack the corner, we got a run pass option on that. Uh, if we're able to make it, you know, hopefully we keep moving the ball. If we're able to get a big play, we can score a touchdown on it. If we're not able to do that, we wind up kicking the ball. So, so no matter what was going on, it was nice not to have to worry about anything else. Last one from me, just to, throughout the thrilling. Is it being in overtime, getting a win against Furman? It's always thrilling when you guys are here. Well, you know what it is? I mean, we've had three games since I've been here with them. All three games have been great games. Uh, you know, the overtime wins, it's a, you know, we're 3-0 and now in overtime wins. That, that, I'm really very, very proud of that. It says something about character. It's, it, it, it winds up saying a, a lot, I think, in terms of uh, the mentality of our guys as well as our coaching staff. So I couldn't be prouder with tonight's win. Thanks, you, you, Thank you, Joe. Thank you. You guys always seen the pull these games out. What's, what's the show you about your team tonight? I think the thing that we keep talking about, Ryan, is bam. You know, it's kind of standing on two feet. You accept responsibility for yourselves. We ask our guys, you know, you just you give it everything you've got. You make sure the school's proud of you, your family's proud of you, your teammates proud of you, and you feel good about the effort that you gave as an individual. That comes together pretty much as a team. So I was proud of that. How about Catcher? He has the one block and he comes back and keeps you alive though in the first overtime. Yeah, no, I thought he, I thought he had a great night. He also made one of the tackles on our kickoff. I thought he did a good job at the kickoff. He did a good job of the extra points. And I I thought he wanted to do a good job. I don't believe at all that was his fault at all as far as as far as the, the block goes. I don't think that was his. And, and then, then he needed to make the one, and he, and he wound up doing that. So I'm proud of him. He did a good job. The rally kind of gained steam with that fourth down play when, when Alice had the scramble for the ball back there. How big was that moment? <laughs> well, that was a pretty big moment. I mean, it's fourth and one. You know, we had confidence that we had a shot at being able to get that. And then, I mean, Kevin's done a great job at center all season long. He had a good game tonight. When you snap it over the head, we lose 35, 40 yards. You know, on a critical game where we could kind of put the game on ice. But you know what? We came back from that. We came back from that, and I was, I was pleased. I couldn't be happier again with the outcome. Uh, just thinking through your emotions tonight. Wild game. Yeah, our emotions are good. You know, we came out with the win. And all the team, I mean, all the guys really rallied together tonight. You know, the defense had the stop when we needed it, and the offense put it in the end zone when we needed it, and it worked out well. What do you think when they block Alex's field goal in the, in the regulation when you go to overtime? What's going through your mind at that point? You know, you can't let your emotions get too all out of whack. You've got to stay poised, you know, you got to stay calm, and you got to realize there's still a game to go out and win. And I think the offense as a whole, we stayed calm, and we realized we are going to have a chance throughout and win the game, and that's what happened. When they miss that, that field goal, you know you have, you're, you're opening at that point. Just take me through your mindset entering that last drive. The defense did great. They uh, they got a stop when they needed it, and as an offense, we knew we were going to go and punch it in the end zone, and we ended up doing so. So you, you were going to sell for a field goal. You wanted to put it in the end zone. We wanted to put it in the end zone. Leave no doubt. Um, just a relief to escape this game of the win. How, how, how do you view this? It's exciting. You know, we need we need games like that. Games like that really show you what kind of team you are. I can do your emotions tonight. The, the range of emotions this game. I'm I'm happy as can be, man. Like words really can't explain. You know, through the um, throughout the game, you know, Coach Coach Batno came over to, to us to stay in it. It's gonna be a dog fight. Stay in it. You know, and our defense held their ground. Um, went to overtime. We came out with a victory. Take me through the last play, the touchdown to win the game. Uh, the line blocked perfect, man. I can't thank them enough how great they do. Uh, I believe it was Bruce or John Israel that came over and cracked the safety and opened everything up for me. Alex delivered the perfect ball once again, you know, and without him, you know, this team, we can't go anywhere. So I, my, I tip my hat to him and I thank him for all his dedication and commitment to the team and delivered the perfect ball, got in his own, won the game. What's this win say about this team and, and your guys' uh, perseverance? We're ready to take the next step. You know, like, personally, I don't feel like we're getting respected enough on offense. So hopefully teams will see this game and see that Coastal Carolina offense hasn't missed the beat just because of who left. Taking through your emotions there, having the one blocked. And then in the regulation, you guys still pulling out. Uh, I mean, the one blocked, I mean, it's a heartbreaker, but uh, it's like I was saying earlier in the week, you just can't dwell on it. All the coaches came up to me, all the guys came up and said, hey, we can get another one over time. It's like, we got to 
need you to bang it through. And I knew the snapping hole was always going to be there, and it was just left on me to, you know, do my part. What was the feeling for you to see it go through and make that, get the game going? Uh, just to see that kid going through, you know, it's just a big confidence booster, you know, starting with the season I've had. You know, I definitely had the uh, one of my sophomore year started Furman, came back with Furman, just went back to the basics, and it's kind of ironic the place I started at is where it's keep going. So. Awesome.